playful spirit. I love to play and dream and wonder, and I have this in common with every child, especially the children who created the images you're about to see. Their art is a sort of testament to what's possible when we give children time and space to freely express their own unique inner creativity. At my core, I'm a curious, creative creature, sort of in love with all that is. And my sense of wonder over the years about everything has grown as I realized life itself is a creative process and one continual playful adventure. I'll never forget the professor who had the most impact on me. <laughs> I was taking a sculpture class in Paris and had just put my heart and soul into sculpting a really beautiful statue. And one day, out of the blue, he walks into the room, grabs the clay hammer that I'm working with, and smashes my statue to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> he then said to me, eh, it was good, but rebuild it better. And this was, the <laughs> this was a defining moment in my life, and it was the first of many lessons on how not to get attached to outside form. Like a lot of people, over the last 10 years, I've been through a lot and I've had to rebuild my life over and over again. I stopped speed skating after 22 years. I got really sick and went through a huge healing crisis. The house I was renting was foreclosed on and I was forced to move out in the same month that I was laid off from my job. I also switched career paths from screenwriting and film TV to children's books. Each time when these things happened, I was essentially kicked out of my <laughs> former outer reality losing everything um, that goes along with it, like security, money, health, place to live, <laughs> appointments, places to be, and tossed into an abyss of the unknown, into a sort of gigantic pod of potential, an inner reality, or as I like to call it, the place of wonder. I call it this because <laughs> the first thing you do when you get there is you wonder, what is the meaning of it all? Why am I here, and what should I do next? You might think that you've suddenly been kicked off the wheel and tossed into a no man's land, into a sort of empty zero point place of stillness where nothing happens. But after you've done this as many times as I have, sort of jump timelines into another life path and reality, you soon realize that the place of wonder is the coolest place you've ever been to. It is where all that is lives. It's a sort of playground as big inwardly as the universe is outwardly. It's an undiscovered world, and you are like a pioneer on the most exciting adventure of your life. As soon as you realize the infinite possibilities of this gigantic playground and pot of potential, you know right away that obviously you want to rebuild something better, not just in your own life, but for all that surrounds you. The place of wonder is ruled by the right brain. So just <coughs> as your left brain is full of words and thoughts, your right brain is full of images. So looking into the right brain, it's sort of like watching a silent movie. Everyone has a right brain, so everyone has access to the place of wonder. The easiest way in, if you don't think smashing statues sounds like fun, is through the expressive creative arts as they were originally intended, like dance, writing, art, singing, free play, anything where you have to participate and contribute something original and unique from within. Once you get in there, you can begin to see the big picture of all that is. Have you ever wondered if you could do anything and nothing was holding you back, what would you do? Have you ever wondered if you could rebuild anything on planet Earth, how would you make it better? Anything is possible once we <laughs> begin to play with all the possibilities. And the key word is play. <laughs> um, when children play, it's very spontaneous. They're you know, jumping around from one thing to another really organically, and they don't think about what they should do next based on an anticipated outcome. They just play. So I wondered, what would our world be like if we all learned how to play again like children? Can we impact the world, have fun, and play at the same time? Can we each invent a new game for children to play and get them healthy and active again? Um, can we each design and make a reusable bag and help clean up plastic pollution in the ocean? <laughs> can we each write a song and burp and slurp for clean water, like the London frogs. Anything's possible when we, can, when we begin to play with the possibilities. Everything comes from the place of wonder. So an epiphany and a moment of clarity and a, um, 
<laughs> anything where you feel elated and you want to fly comes from the place of wonder. So it makes me wonder, what if this small opening was a gigantic door open all the time and easily accessible to everyone? The arts are this creative, this big gigantic door. And um, <laughs> it makes me wonder, why do we cut art programs right now in our country? Children's art programs, maybe it's because right now we think of children's art as color paper, crayons, and paint. But these are outside things, and these outside art materials will never make great art. People make great art. So I wonder, can we evolve the arts to be just about expression and playfulness and a way to um, you know, discover the self and all the wonders found within the place of wonder? I think that maybe rebuilding the arts is more simple than we think. What if children in arts class could create anything from a given set of materials? The same creative process that they go through to create their masterpiece in kindergarten, and third grade, and seventh grade is the same exact creative process they'll have to go through um, to help solve the energy crisis later in life. And I really think that if we let children play with the possibilities and ask them, what would you create if you could create anything? then we would see a sort of new, the next renaissance on planet Earth, a sort of rebuilding of all that is, and an expansive movement, like a flourishing of the creative arts everywhere. But this will only happen and begin with each of us expressing who we really are on the inside. And so that's why it's really, really important to always look ahead and see beyond the thing that's falling apart. So if in your life or in the world or whatever, look ahead and move uh, see what you can do to rebuild something better. When I was really sick and wondering <laughs> how I was going to uh, survive, sort of looking death in the eye, I didn't think once about anything on the outside. I only thought, can art and images heal the earth the same way that art and images can heal the body? And if so, how can I capture and share all that I see, this like sort of beautiful, intense, beauty and all that surrounds me. And the result of all that wondering was Key to Keeper Books, which is my publishing company. And it's sort of an open invitation to come and play and to use art and images as a way to dream up a new reality. Because when we can dream together, while awake, <laughs> using images only, we can change the world. That's because images are more powerful than words. They are direct and immediate and need no translation. If you think about it, images are like a universal language on planet Earth. They represent our collective hopes and dreams, and they can sort of create a blueprint for us to use to build a better world with. In the same way that like words in a screenplay uh, create the film. So I was wondering, what images would we all create if we knew that they had this much power? I think the only major hurdle stopping us from creating the most incredible world for the next generation is fear. Fear of change, fear of the unknown, Fear of letting go of the old way of doing things. But the opposite of fear is not courage, it's love. And this is the key that will open any door you encounter on your, event, on your adventure. I know it's not easy to consciously smash a statue or jump to another timeline when you can't always see what's beyond it, but we can make progress and build a better world for the next generation by finding solutions within our hearts. Earlier in my career, I confused um, screenwriting for having to be a film person, and art for having to be a, uh, you know, an artist, and screen, uh, speed skating for having to be an athlete. But now I realize everything I do is just an outlet and a tool for me to play and to express who I really am. I love to skate fast because my body loves to fly. I love to be an artist because I'm a visual dreamer. I love books because they're a portal into another world. And it's very liberating when you realize all this because <laughs> the outside world no longer holds as much power over you and you sort of gain an inner freedom and an inner joy that can never be smashed. And that's your reward, the coveted elixir, the big discovery of your adventure. So no matter where life takes you next, you can always see beyond the outside reality of your situation and still have fun. I got to where I am today by wondering about everything and finding creative ways to outwardly express what I see hidden on the inside. 
Living a creative life is not easy, and sometimes I feel like I'm blindfolded. So I only know what I should do next in the moment it happens, but I'm continually inspired and motivated to play the game every time I encounter small synchronicities and coincidences and lucky connections that sort of appear out of nowhere to help me out in some way. And, uh, you know, to sort of say, like, you're heading in the right direction, keep going. Since there are different levels within the place of wonder, you can only sort of get um, as far as you're ready for, so you do sort of have to put your time in to get to the good playground. But as you explore further and further, you will find the core of who you are and so much happiness. That's because at the core of each of us, we all love to play. Besides this, how do you know who you are at your core? It's that thing about you that still exists after all the outside things go away. Can't tell you how to find it, because only you can do that. But when you do, you can then make a huge impact in the world and be a part of the rebuild as well. You can become your own pioneer, make magic happen yourself, become a visionary for the world, and channel good to all just by being who you are. That makes me wonder, who are you? Mm -hmm. The end. <laughs>